Hey guys, what's up? It's Arctic here, or Old School Duelist 12, whatever you want to call me, and welcome back to a random video. This video is definitely not planned. There still will be a Friday Pokemon video. Um, I'm actually kind of excited to have that one go up. But anyways, um, this video is just a... I'm hoping it's going to be a quick, uh, just quick little discussion type of thing. Um... Yeah, so I just watched um, Pokemon's thing that they put out. It was a like two minute, 14 second video. And they basically explained that, like pretty short and simple. Yeah, they can't come to Gamescom. They're working hard on Sword and Shield. Um, and, you know, but instead, hey, we're going to show you guys the first town that Galar pops up. Or that, you know, first town you go to in the Galar region. Um, I'm assuming it's the beginning town. Um, I think they even said it's the first town, but anyways. So, a couple of things, uh, that I want to mention, and then I'm gonna talk about the thing that I, that came to mind and reason why I'm making this video. First, um, when they show you talking to, uh, the professor, there were no text bubbles underneath of her when she was talking. Um, so either there actually is voice acting or there is, um, there is like, they just didn't put the text in there for this video, um, for this demonstration showing whatever. Uh, and another reason why I'm alluding to that is it shows the character, the character you play as, go talk to a Wooloo. Um, and Wooloo's an adorable little sheep. Um, but when you talk to it, it kind of like an animation happens, and as you're walking away, it shows a little bubble above the woo -loo going woo -loo -loo -loo. Um, So, and usually in games like that, that means they do that, and there's voice acting. Um, like, here's a good example, Tales of Zestaria. When you talk to somebody, you know, words, text will show up, but yet they also have voice acting in that game. Granted, it's a hardcore RPG, but also when you pass by people, little text bubbles show up like when you're actually playing the game so I'm just kind of using that as an example um, so I really feel like there's going to be like actual voice acting in a Pokemon game and if they do that's fucking cool um, just another reason why they're working their asses off to make this game um, the train station looks cool the game looks beautiful I love the look of the game I'm still 100% for this game and maybe people are just like oh look at this tree Again, the, that wasn't a final product. I can almost, I can 99% guarantee that was not a final product, and they're going to fix that. Though it's just kind of like, hey, they need trees, so it looks like a, an actual place. Um, I mean, if that's what the trees end up looking at, that's the trees end up looking like. I'm not going to give a shit. I'm not one for graphics. Like I, I care about graphics. I love visuals, but um, I don't really, I don't like nitpick every little thing is like a fucking tree um because i get it you're gonna have some restrictions you're gonna have to do some cutbacks you need to do some type of tricks to make it seem real or make it seem like it's a beautiful piece of artwork um with little you know hidden corners cut i guess the best way to put it uh, but yeah and then the main reason why i'm making this video um and that is the fact that he said they're working hard and they can't come to Gamescom. Um, it, it this really shows that Pokemon or Game Freak is having to work hard, meet deadlines, and stuff like that. And that's why I feel like the National Dex was definitely a decision um, to cut it due to. All the work they have to do for a switch because they're going from a 3ds which they were still figuring out and learning how to do from pokemon x and y and i think they finally got the hang of it in ultra sun and ultra moon um and now they're just like we just got the hang of a 3ds and how to maximize it and make it look good now we're going to an even better piece of hardware shit um so yeah it, it's 
it's interesting. It's very interesting to think and to really visualize and put into prospect what it's take, what actual work they're doing, and what actual cuts they have to do to the game, i.e. the national decks. Um, was probably the biggest one and um, something that you know Arlo a youtuber that I watch Arlo um, he mentioned that you know they said that they were future proofing sprites or the like the models of the Pokemon um, and you know people want to know well why aren't they uh, what, what what is what are they redesigning Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing. They're probably they're probably remaking all the Megas. This is only a, this is only a theory right here for Megas. For the Pokemon that have Mega Forms, they're probably going to make those their Gigantamax form, Gigantamaxing forms, or just cut them all together. Either way, I don't really care. Um, either one works, to be completely honest. Um, but they probably have to rescale and redesign every single Pokemon that they are putting in the game. Probably roughly close to 500. Um, 500 different Pokemon they're putting in the game. I'm just assuming they're going to put roughly 500 Pokemon in the game. Um, between old and new. Um, as well as just a bunch of other stuff. But they probably have to redesign every single Pokemon they're putting in the game as a Dynamax or a Gigantamax. Um, so that's could take time. I mean, granted, let's say they're doing about, let's say they're doing, we'll be on the safe side, we'll say 350. They have to redesign 350 Pokemon to Dynamax. And that's not even including the Gigantamaxing that you have to do also for the Pokemon. So it's, it's a, it's gonna take some time and that's why I'm I'm not ever gonna make that's why I'm never going to bitch about the decks the national decks not being in the game so yeah before I start ranting and this turns into like a fucking 15 minute video I'm just gonna end right here guys don't bash Pokemon don't bash Game Freak they're doing their best they're trying to put out a beautiful game okay so yeah thank you guys and hope you guys enjoy the podcast